Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I am here at Salt Lake City, Utah at a very special location. This is, believe it or not, the actual building where they house the Land Cruiser Museum. And of course, right here next to me is the vehicle that probably is gonna surprise the heck out of you. This is it, this is the all new 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser. But before we get into this SUV that kind of disappeared and nobody thought would ever come back to the States, let's talk about what's going on here. 1958, that was the year that the Land Cruiser first made its mark. And it's one of those nameplates in Toyota's lineup that really has lasted the test of time. Now, what's fascinating is that as technology has changed, the Land Cruiser kind of really stuck to its roots. And then when the previous generation disappeared here on our shores, we were watching from afar as other parts of the world were getting new Land Cruisers. Well, guess what? I'm very happy to say that Toyota has developed this Land Cruiser very specifically for us here in the United States. And they really have done it in an interesting way to bring a lot of different choices. But what I wanna find out is, in the whole landscape of these off-road SUVs, is the Land Cruiser the best new one that you wanna buy? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the dimensions. It's interesting because a lot of new vehicles we always talk about extra width. This Land Cruiser is actually about 4.4 inches narrower than the previous one. Now, before you start to say, well, this isn't a good size, they did that on purpose to really help people when they're off-roading through those very specific tight trails. Now, at the front of the business, you're gonna see a blending of modern with that old school feel. And it's great to be here at the museum and walk around and look at the history of the Land Cruiser and see it in this new form. So at the front end of the business, you're gonna notice this rectangular shape headlight design with your triple beam LED headlights. I love the way they work the daytime running lamps and even the way that they texturize the turn signals to give it that classic look. Now, nothing is complete on a Land Cruiser unless you have a little bit of fender flare. And that's what we have coming from the side, that nice bulge goes up and over to really give it a muscular look, something that definitely is gonna stand out from the rest of the crowd. And another thing you'll notice is that we actually have functional corner air curtains, because remember, we have this overall boxy shape, but we need to help with aerodynamics because one of the things you're gonna find is when it comes to fuel efficiency, Toyota has some surprises with this new Land Cruiser. Now, if you're looking at this style and you're saying, well, I miss round headlights, I want round headlights, stay tuned because at the end of this review, I have a link to another trim, another grade of a Land Cruiser known as the 1958 edition that has some special classic touches. But for overall, this is the style for your standard Land Cruiser. Now working your way down, we do have your functional rigid fog lamps. I like the way it's got the yellow tinge there. A little bit of flat black, but nothing too crazy. And then as we come across the front, that classic grill design. I love the way you got the Toyota name, that heritage setup. And I'm so happy to report that there's no gloss black on the front of this vehicle, which makes sense because this is meant to do the off-roading business. So you can see full functionality up top, some flat black in the center, and then working your way down, more functionality with this egg crate grill. Of course, we have a forward-facing camera. One thing I'm gonna zonk here is I would like to see a washer on that camera, because we know when we're going mudding and stuff, sometimes that could get very, very dirty. And then working your way down underneath, you'll see all of that great ground clearance. Now, it's not just about ground clearance. It's also about getting up and over what you're trying to conquer. And with this new Land Cruiser, not only do you have a greater approach angle, but we also have a really nice departure angle as well. Now, as we rise up, I like the clean, bold lines of the hood. Nothing origami. We don't need a bunch of folds in it. You're gonna have a nice rise on each fender. And what that's gonna do for you is when you're behind the wheel of the vehicle, you're gonna be able to have a nice visual reference point as you're going down your, twi your twisty off-road trail. Now, when we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup. What you're noticing are these 18-inch wheels. Love the multi-spoke design. They have a nice off-road style to them. They're not beadlock wheels or anything like that, but they do look freaking good. 18-inch wheel, and if you'll notice, we have these Michelin tires. If you're wondering tire size, 265 on the width, 70 series sidewall, 
and then lurking behind we have a nice large brake package and then Lori's going to zoom in to the wheel well and show the suspension bits. You have that upper control arm, your shock absorber, your springs. All of this has been fine-tuned for this Land Cruiser and the great news is is that this is on the new global truck chassis. That's another thing to think about when you're going to purchase your next off-road SUV. Coming down the side, I'm going to have Lori kind of swing it around and show you that flared fender look, that style to it. And then one of the things that Toyota really does well is looking for those specific styling cues that speak to their heritage. You'll notice on our side mirrors, instead of having these like rectangle billboards, this is that classic shape, but you know that it's something unique, something modern. Notice how you have your turn singles, nice and slim, a little bit of texturized design. And I'm kind of glad that they didn't do just black everywhere. So you have a little bit of black on that A pillar, but the body color, and then of course finishing up off top, that two-tone. And that's really where this vehicle will slot into one of these spaces here at the museum and fit in perfectly. Now coming down the side, of course, we have our fixed running boards. That's something to help people get in and out of this nice size SUV, gloss black on your door handles. Coming back, of course, you're gonna need to be able to carry things. It's not just about going out for an hour and going off-roading. This is about going further than you've been before. Maybe you're going overlanding. So what we have, of course, is gonna be your raised roof rails. You could get your optional crossbars, put a cargo basket up there, put your kayak carrier, mountain bikes, whatever you need. Maybe put the kids up there. If they're being a little annoying, you could strap them up there but Toyota does not recommend that, and neither do I. But you could do what you could do, they're your kids. Working your way back, I love how they did the window frame. So instead of having a bunch of trim around every part of it, you're gonna have the thicker portion up top, slim and trim on the bottom, and a nice size quarter window with that gloss black, and then ring it, bring it around the back. What do we got going on? Just like up front, they finish it off exactly how you would expect from a Land Cruiser. So you're gonna have that color match, Roof spoiler extending out. You're gonna be able, of course, to raise the rear glass, which is a very nice touch, just by lifting up right there. We got the Toyota name in the trim, so it's not a bunch of just emblems all over the place. The classic Land Cruiser name. And then you'll notice also how they really work the angles to give it a unique style. So you're gonna stand out from the crowd. Of course, we got iForce Max from Toyota. They are bringing it to you on this Land Cruiser. And then finishing it off, there's that nice area for departure angle. Of course, we're gonna have full tow capability. I'm gonna to get to those numbers soon. I'll tell you what, I can't hold on to it anymore. 6,000 pound towing capacity with this Land Cruiser. All your hookups, but why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering. Right, guys, we got the hood popped on the Land Cruiser. You do have a prop rod. That's okay because you know what? Open up any of the other hoods on any of these other Land Cruisers, you're gonna have a prop rod. So what do we have underneath the hood? For 2024, you're looking at a 2.4 liter turbocharged hybrid setup. So you have that inline four turbocharged engine paired with the electric motor. You're looking at 326 horsepower, 465 pound-feet of torque. So before you get all upset, and you start throwing things in the house that this doesn't have a V6 or a V8 or anything else, think about that. 465 pound-feet of torque. It is bolted to an eight-speed automatic transmission. You do have full-time four-wheel drive. Like I mentioned earlier, you could tow up to 6,000 pounds. It's got a center lock diff, and you have that two-speed transfer case and an auto LSD. And if you wanna know what is that approach angle, you're looking at 37 degrees approach angle, 8.7 inches of ground clearance. So like I said, transitioning as we move forward, I think Toyota is really onto something with using this power plant in so many different ways. But like I said, hold on to that torque number because when we go for a drive, we're gonna see how it goes. But while we go ahead, Let's get to the interior and see what's all new on this Land Cruiser. All right, guys, we're inside this 2024 Land Cruiser. So basically, at the intro, you're gonna have three grades available. The base 1958 edition, you have this Land Cruiser, and then there's gonna be a limited run called the first edition, which they're gonna make 5,000 of those. This particular one, there's no official pricing yet, but stay tuned, definitely listen and watch the video at the end of this one for the other Land Cruiser that we're gonna film here because I have a little bit more information on that one. Now, 
Just to give you a heads up, these are pre-productions, so some of the things you see are not fully functional, or some of the, the textures of materials might be a little bit different. But if you're looking for a new SUV, this might be it. Let's see what you get to the door panels. I like on this particular trim how you have mostly black, but there's a little bit of brown. You'll have that soft touch material up top, like the way they did that unique rectangular soft pad there for your arm. And then no gloss black around the switch gear. On the lower side, like I said, you have that brown with the contrast stitching. Door pocket is super tight. Maybe two Salt Lake City Pop-Tarts and a bottle of chocolate milk, and that's it. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, I love the way they did the materials on the dash. Look at the way they did the AC vents. Attention to detail is clearly there. We got a 14-speaker JBL sound system, and then slide your booty on in. We have a 12.3-inch infotainment system. This is the same Toyota multimedia system that you've seen before. I like the way we're able to bring up the power flow with that nickel metal high drive battery. There's our 2.4 liter turbocharged engine and the electric motors. I can't show you more because this is pre-production, but this is the same multimedia system. We got a real volume knob there, working our way down. Love the way they did the AC vents. We got ventilated seats, heated seats, both three stages, heated steering wheel, dual climate control. And then look at else what we got. Three USB-Cs, one, two, three, wireless charging, a place for two off-road Twinkies. We got our, our mode selector switch, which we'll show you more of that at another time. This is gonna control the eight-speed automatic transmission. There's all the gizmos and gadgets for your four by four, locking that center diff and the rear diff. Two cup holders, soft touch material with the stitching. And look at this, we got a decent amount of space there to where you could easily get, I would say, seven pieces of fool's gold. There's a place down the road here where people are mining for gold. The problem is they find more fool's gold than regular gold. But you could put those pieces in there. Maybe you could give it to a fool and make a lot of money. Seats, the soft text material. I like the brown, really kind of balances nicely with all the dark material, the stitching. Full electric assist for the passenger, full electric assist for the driver, and then we get a nice large sunroof. But why don't you get your butt over here? Well, almost forgot. We also have a digital rear view mirror that's actually picking up a nature scene behind us with little Christmas trees. But once you get your butt over here, I want to show you behind the wheel of the all new Land Cruiser. All right guys, business time behind the wheel of this all new Land Cruiser. You have two memory seat settings for the driver, pedal box, nice size. I like the way we have these Land Cruiser all weather floor mats. That's worth an extra five horsepower. Of course, we got our seat controls, easy to get to, especially that lower lumbar. And then I'm six feet tall, and with that boxy style, plenty of room in here. If you need more room, you might wanna see a doctor about shortening your height. Steering wheel, that classic Land Cruiser style. I like the way they spelled out the Toyota name, like a heritage badge, unique shape with the horn button, little bit of gloss black, leather all the way around, flat black on all the buttons and switch gear. This bronze material is really, really nice. And then of course we have paddles for the eight-speed automatic, electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then we have that massive 12 inch digital display that's gonna change when you go into the different modes. When we do the first drive, I will bring that to you, I promise. And to top it off, you got great visibility out the front, but let's get to the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna be happy that you went with the old school name in a new skin, the Land Cruiser. Right, guys, back seat time in this SUV. And what's kind of cool about it is you can have it formatted for two rows or for th three rows, showing you this back seat area, lots of space. Of course, because of the boxy shape, you have lots of headroom. Everybody in here is gonna be very happy going down those bumpy roads. Backs of the seats, the soft text material, nice large pockets can easily get, I would say six Salt Lake City donuts back there. That's a special glaze sauce. If you ever come to Salt Lake City, ask for the Salt Lake Special city donut it's got a special glaze that's going to blow your mind we got a little bit of a command center the land cruiser name with some of that copper finish we do have our temperature controls for the ac your blower fan speed two usb c's so that right there tells you it's got more plug-in capability than circuit city and you got a 12 volt so they got you covered there i'm curious what this dead button is for so i'm going to zonk it right now but who knows what that dead button will be seats have plenty of room and then of course 
fold down that armrest. And Toyota must be in cahoots with Charmin toilet paper because they make it Charmin soft back here. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the cargo area and see how many boulders we could carry in the new Land Cruiser. All right, guys, cargo area time. Now, one thing before we jump in, I just want to kind of refocus on the style of the taillights. Full LED, and I love the way that they angle towards the rear fenders. Kind of an interesting style to separate it. You see this little guy right here? There's a button. You hit that, and that's where you're going to be able to pop that rear glass. Let's say you go to your camping site and somebody forgot maybe some charcoal or lighter fluid for the fire or the barbecue. You could come, pop it open, reach in, and get back to the good times. Let the good times roll at the campsite. To open up the rear hatch, real simple. You hit the button, you back away. Nice electric assist. One thing I want to point out is you could see how high the cargo loading floor is. It is a, a bit of a stretch there, but once you get up and in, you'll notice how much space that we have. Now, this one is set up for two rows, but you can get three rows as well. Lori's gonna show you the USB-Cs in the back area. And then also, what's nice is, is that without having the third row in here, it gets rid of the seat belts and everything. So that really allows you to have storage space, get easy access underneath for the camping Twinkies because there's nothing like a nice fire grill Twinkie on the back section. And we have a home power source as well. But let me know what you think about this exciting piece of information when it comes to the Land Cruiser. We're bringing you fresh here from Salt Lake City. Let me know how you feel in the comment section. Did Toyota hit this one right out of the park? I'm dying to read your comments and so are they, but I definitely got to thank the whole Toyota USA team for giving us some time to get access to this all new Land Cruiser. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we need to get up to the hardest working person in the whole cinematography world. Lori working that camera like a champ. She actually turned down some roles to go film for some big movie production companies just to keep it going here on Radies Ride. So definitely give her your thanks in the comment section. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.